Greetings from Tokyo. This is Daisuke, and I hope all of you are having a really nice day today. Uh, it is, I think, December 25th, and uh, 2018. And so, for those of you for whom it is a Christmas, I hope you are having a very Merry Christmas and that you are uh, enjoying yourself and that you are in the company of family and friends and loved ones. And for those of you for whom it is not a holiday today, I hope you are happy and healthy and doing very well. Uh, I sympathize with uh, your position in particular because for me it is not a holiday necessarily, but uh, all the same, uh, I hope that uh, things are doing well and treating you well and that you are happy and uh, finding lots of love and excitement and enjoying your life. Uh, you know, I always talk about films and cinema and watching movies and, and all that because it is always a great reminder, is it not, of, of um, you know, why it is, uh, you, know, uh, you know, life is so great and life is so precious. You know, films always remind us of that. So, uh, again, uh, I hope uh, that is the most important thing, uh, you know, your happiness and your health. So, uh, I hope that you have both in abundance. Um, and uh, it is the uh, end of the year, and so I am trying to wind down by uh, finishing up uh, or catching up with as many of the Criterion 2018 releases as I can. Now, I have this lovely uh, Blu-ray on the table here, a True Stories, and this is because I just finished going through this Blu-ray and the supplementary material, and it's a really fascinating film, a uh, really lovely film, uh, and uh, I've enjoyed the Criterion Collection presentation of this film in particular. It's a really great film, uh, spine number 951, by the way. Oh, and incidentally, um, this is the Blu-ray, and as you know, the, uh, the Blu-ray has a really interesting, uh, it's a digipack presentation, right? Uh, but uh, it's got the it's got the uh, the leaflet here, or the the insert, which is in the this form of this uh, kind of um, tabloid newspaper, which is fascinating. Um, but it also comes with this, which is uh, the CD soundtrack. Now, uh, I believe this is the first time that a Criterion Collection release has included a CD soundtrack with the Blu-ray. And this is really fascinating. <laughs> um, it's uh, certainly, a, uh, in that respect, a historical or historic release from the Criterion Collection. Again, it's another reason why 2018 has been a wonderful year for Criterion. Uh, so this uh, release of, of uh, True Stories has the soundtrack on a CD. And in fact, the CD soundtrack can also be sold, um, it's sold separately, excuse me, like this. And so um, this is the, the one that's separately sold. And there is a similar presentation, although it's not exactly the same. Uh, there's the same cover design, but it, it, it's, a, it's an open uh, mini gatefold presentation like so, with one of the pockets housing the insert and the other pocket housing the CD itself. So this is the separately sold soundtrack. Uh, incidentally, there's also the uh, vinyl soundtrack release here, uh, which is really nice uh, because um, you can see here the, the cover and here is the back and it opens up like so. And this is very nice. Um, this incidentally is the, if I take out one of the discs, with one of the records here. You can see here that it is there. This is the B side and this is the A side. There you go. And there's actually one more uh, record. Uh, so there's that vinyl release. Um, but there's also a, a second vinyl release right here, which is very interesting. You can see it says in the corner on this uh, plastic wrapping, a Barnes & Noble exclusive limited edition red vinyl. So in fact, you can get the same soundtrack, uh, not only on a vinyl, but also if you're fortunate enough to find this quote unquote limited edition, you can find it in this really interesting 
red vinyl version. So uh, the contents are the same. Um, I haven't finished listening through each of these um, permutations of the of the soundtrack, but um, uh, I believe that the contents are the same. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, differences in presentation, of course, and format, of course. So um, anyway, that is just an interesting little tidbit in the uh, in the world of, of uh, true stories. Uh, recent uh, soundtrack releases. Now I should mention also that not I can't find any indication on any of these vinyl releases or the separate CD release. I can't find any indication uh, with respect to Criterion. Uh, so these, I don't know if these would count necessarily as Criterion releases per se, uh, but still uh, they do share a similar cover design or exactly the same cover design and so it is I think uh, maybe not an unreasonable approach to consider these as criterion items or maybe quasi criterion items or however you may want to think of it uh, but anyway that's true stories in a nutshell at least the the uh, uh, the peripheral uh, CD uh, uh, matters uh, that pertain to this particular release. Uh, so I've just finished going through the True Stories uh, supplements and I hope to talk about them in detail uh, very soon. Um, I've also received in the mail uh, the spine number 953 which is a dry white season. It hasn't been opened yet so I will probably uh, open this and watch it uh, after I finish making this video. And then also I received this, which is spine number 954, 40 guns. Uh, so I look forward to uh, visiting this film. It won't be the first time I, I'm going to watch this film, but I will be looking forward, I think, to the supplementary material. And uh, hopefully, if I, am, if I have enough stamina, I'll try to watch this one uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, uh, but uh, I can't make any promises. So once those are... Uh, seen and I've been able to go through those and once I receive the film Patnique which I'm expected to receive in the mail any day now and um, uh, once I have uh, gone through the Bergman box set and believe it or not I'm almost done going through the Bergman box set uh, I hope to be done by the end of the year but I'm not quite sure yet but uh, I think fingers crossed if all goes according to plan then that would mean that I will have seen all of the criterion releases for 2018 um, by uh, the end of the year in which case I will be in a position where I'll be able to make a little video regarding my favorite releases from t from criterion from 2018 so if that is the case then my plan hopefully is to make a video or a set of videos and put them up on YouTube by the end of the year uh, just setting forth my favorite releases of 2018 so hopefully if all goes well I'll be able to do that so it's just a matter of being able to go through everything uh, by that time uh, so I think if I if I push myself I'll be able to do it but um, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to make any promises, but I will do my very best, uh, and uh, uh, I will endeavor to uh, to make um, uh, my best efforts. In the meantime, of course, what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you, my dear friends, if any of you are planning to make a YouTube video regarding your favorite releases of 2018, your favorite films of 2018. You, they don't necessarily have to be Criterion releases, although they can be. Uh, if any of you are planning to make a video like that and you're going to upload it to your channel or something like that, please let me know. I would love to uh, hear about them and I'd love to watch those videos. And uh, please also, I am very content with uh, having people uh, post links in the comment section. Uh, I'm very happy with having people post links to their videos. Uh, as long as the videos are film related, I'm very happy to, uh, to let people do that because I, what I'm, what, one of my uh, hopes 
actually. And I'm seeing a, a lot of this happen already, and I'm very encouraged by it. But one of my hopes is that uh, people are uh, exchanging ideas and talking with each other in the comments section here. And part of that, hopefully, would mean being able to share uh, videos uh, that people are making. I know some people who are watching these videos that I'm making are also uh, YouTubers and uh, they have you have your own videos and your own channels and you have great film channels and much better, much better than mine with great uh, uh, quality and, and more astute comments that I could ever hope to make uh, in my wildest dreams. So I would love to have a place where uh, you know I and maybe other people here can click on them and watch them and be directed to your channels so and it'll be a great way of discovery um, maybe for some of you uh, it'll be the first time for me to watch your videos and in that case I would love to see them uh, so again it's just an open invitation uh, for people who are planning to make end-of-year top 10 favorite releases of 2018 or something like that. Uh, it can be Criterion, it doesn't have to be, but it can. If you are going to make something like that, please, uh, you can leave a comment or link below and I'd be very happy to accept that and uh, please invite people to visit your channel and you know, the more open the, uh, the uh, environment is, uh, the better I think. Um, because uh, the more free flow of ideas and uh, and inspiration that exists, I think the better off we all are. So, um, so that is just a quick announcement, uh, my dear friends, about the uh, my plans for the next uh, week or so uh, as we wind down the year 2018. So in the meantime, if any of you have any uh, uh, comments or questions um, if maybe some of you out there are planning to make your own video about your favorite films of 2018 or your favorite releases of 2018 please let me know I would love to hear about those videos I'd love to to, to get links for those and to watch those videos and uh, it would be great I'd love to do that um, and it would be so nice to watch those in the meantime uh, I hope you are all doing very well and um, yes that you keep on watching a lot of great great films and more importantly that you are enjoying life and you are finding love and that you are uh, doing things that make you happy and give you fulfillment until we meet again my friends cheers <laughs>